Alright guys, this is Fire Alley and Link Descent and welcome back to the Pirate 101 Nuzlocke. In this episode, we are going to talk to that guy who is part of the Holy Banana Order thing in St. Bonobo's Abbey, which is way over there. Yeah, at least it's not as far as like, uh, what's that place called? Yeah, the place, that place over there, what's it called? I can't even remember, the place where Don Quixote is. I changed the floor of my captain's cabin. You're the floor. It looks amazing. Many a things it look amazing. Alright, let's go find this guy. I'm pretty sure he wasn't kidnapped by some hobo. Why are the NPCs not loading again? That's rude. What the heck? What? I am standing in the middle of the skyway. And I can't go anywhere. Dare I'll port to me then. Listen well, for I break a vow to tell you this. Marco Pollo was the keeper of a terrible secret. He burdened me with it in the hour of his death. Pollo spoke of El Dorado. He said no one must ever go back there. Powers asleep in El Dorado that could destroy the spiral if they awaken. Therefore, we will not heed them just like Link in The Legend of Zelda and do it anyway. He spoke of his Yo. map, whispering that Christopher Clark, his navigator, like kept it safe in Cool Ranch, the land of Mario's birth. Cool Ranch, the farthest corner of the spiral. We have a long voyage long. ahead of us. Do it anyway. Gaspard is quite correct. Cool Ranch is the longest world in Pirate 101, and there are some parts that are rather dull. But we will continue nonetheless. There's Giovanni, who I will never do his quest. Because I feel like not helpful to him. Alright, so. Uh, we should actually just teleport to Skull Island only faster that way. Wait, what's that guy sell? Ah, there's a tree! Let's see. Nothing super useful to me, except for the armor. Wow, it shows my my little preview thing as a moldy banana ship. I will buy. And then it shows mine as a not new ship. <laughs> mine was a moldy banana. Well, cool. So now the ships are slightly better. Hey, it's another player. Cool. All right, so let's teleport to Skull Island and start our way to Cool Ranch. Yay! It starts out with a dungeon, just so you know. Because that's how they like introduce the boys, I guess. So, now yeah. Link and I will become permanent cowboys. That's where his trench coat actually comes from. Yeah. Dude, we should totally do some yeehaws. I never thought of that. The only thoughts I've had for Cool Ranch is I want to be done with this place and I like this guy and I like this guy and I want to kill these people was about the most thoughts I've had in Cool Ranch. You level up recently and not go to our character you What? Oh, apparently I have to talk to the blind mute. Oh yeah, I've talked to blind mute. It's not the end of the quest, it's part of it. It's a different one. But yeah, uh, I just I get turned in a quest, I turned in like some telescope. Oh I think I might have done it, I'm not sure. Alright, naturally because this is a new world, we will show you guys the spiral as we go to there, so we might as well just keep recording, because Cool Ranch is a big place. We will be stuck in there for, I estimate, about 30 episodes in total. Oh, man, that's so true. One thing, 30 might be an understatement, actually. Yeah, Cool Ranch is pretty cool. What? It's got some good parts, it's got some bad parts, you know. It just depends on your style. Yes, depends on that too. I remember when Link and I actually went here as our mains. We had actually started the Nuzlocke at that point. Yep. 
right when I was starting to get into Cool Ranch. It's like starting to get halfway through, it would just started to die for me. Went, oh, my. Yeah. So we're almost at the storm gate. As long as nobody starts shooting at us, we'll be fine. And we'll have to buy. Almost to the storm gate. I'm pretty sure on most of the characters, in order to succeed, we'll have to buy a book from Cool Ranch. I've never had to. You don't have to, it just makes life easier. Yeah, that's true. And if we but get those guys blown up, we are... Yeah. Alright, time to head to Cooper's Roost. Woo. Oh no, and I'm not even in Spiral yet. Oh really? My boat is slightly faster than yours. Ooh, what's that? Oh no, I, I just put on sails and everything. Dude, look at that world back there, guys. I've never seen that one before. It's really cool. Which you can one? see the different worlds of the spiral out there, because some of them you don't know. That one is Grizzleheim. I can confirm that is Grizz Grizzleheim, because I've been there in Wizard World. That's just a flying turtle. Oh, that's Mushu. Really? We're on a flying turtle. I don't actually see Oh, yeah. There's the land yeah. Side, though. Yeah. I could probably... If I had a really good camera view, I'd probably there. just sit, sit in the spiral and watch the things for a minute. Oh my gosh, what's this one? Oh, there's Crocotopia. Crocotopia is like the cool ranch of Wizard 101. There's Polaris. That place is going to be very interesting if and when we get there. Oh, there's Dragonspire. Yep, there's Dragonspire. Yep. Alright. Get ready, guys. You better get used to this music. It doesn't change. Ever. Ever. Welcome to the Wild West. Wait. Need to talk to the stagecoach guy. Oh, yes. This guy takes you places. It's great. Oh, there's the deputy. There was a time before this man here, and let me tell you, it was a sad and terrible time when you had to spend your money. Or, not spend your money, spend your... spend hours traveling. That guy, you spend 15 bucks, and then he takes you wherever. It's great. Alright, Deputy Fowler. Well, howdy, stranger! Howdy, Mr. Fowler. Looking for Clark, you say? Can't say I know him. I'm new here myself, just transferred in from Tumbleweed. Head on over to the Silver Spur Saloon at the end of Main Street. Talk to Miss Jane. She'll steer you around. I'll check out ships now or later. Let's say we check them out later. We should be able to last for a little bit with uh, the ships we currently have. We can. Let's say until the bison. Uh, bison village. Yeah. All right. I think we can make it to level 20. Yeah. We'll reach level 20 before long. Let's see what weapons this guy has to sell. Probably nothing good. Let's see. Yeah, these things are actually really terrible. What else is new? Well, this one has armor penetration, so I guess Oh, it's wait. Okay. I forgot I got a new weapon. Wait, you forgot to bring a weapon. No, it's only stabbing weapon. I got a new weapon from the quest we just did. Well, you have to remember, the weapon that you have currently is going to do more damage because it's a stabby slashy. Yeah, check out this one. Alright. Push through the thing, all old western like. We don't have any guns, but if we did, we'd look surely cool. You're looking for Christopher Clark? Well, I hope you brought a shovel. You don't need to have guns busted. Don't fret. Well, Mr. Clark has a son, Merriweather, who still lives right here in the Cooper's Roost. Maybe he can help you. Head outside, turn left to the blacksmith's, then cross the stone bridge to the bluff. That's where the old Clark place is. Can't miss it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. And by the way, Wizard 101 reference right there. I forgot, we're gonna be talking to people for a long time. <laughs> yeah, the stuff should be getting newer and newer to you. Let's see. That is a 
fat turkey. I made it to the place after this already. Technically, you are still in Cool Ranch on your main, though. Yeah. All right, so this is a fight, I believe. No, I no it's not at home. It's never easy for us, is it? It isn't a ever easy action. Wait, there's a note. What's it say? Not at home. Please direct all inquiries oh to Dr. Elmore Cooper. Cooper's Roost. Meriwether Clark. Even Saturday. Dr. Coop's Great on Main Street. Street. Let's get to it. So the jury gets the shot. Yeah. Yeah. Did you skip the dialogue? This music's been stuck in my head. You don't forever. look sick. You must be looking for me. I've known Merriweather his whole life. He's a dear boy, but absent minded. The lad's off taking weather readings and whatnot. If I had to guess, I'd say he's visiting his professor friend. Ah, what's his name? Murgatroyd, that's him, down in Arroyo Grande. He should have been back by now. I hope he hasn't gotten into any trouble. Oh, if you could find him and tell him to come home, I'd be much obliged. A Merryweather chase has started. And so has the questioning of how much disk space I have left. I might have to pause in the, in the middle of this episode. Oh. So, Matt, in the meantime, the mail Side must quest. go out. Got to grab Did you him. make a delivery to post uh -huh. Cause Junction? you never know when you'll I get a new companion. Oh no, I missed a side quest. I have to go back for it. Yeah, my main character is level 65 now. Which makes me quite happy because I've never been able to do that before in a Blister or in a King's Out game. Good old, you look scrappy enough. Oh, uh, we get to talk to and deliver these supplies. Don't even yeah, think about it. Let's go to the loot right now. You actually don't bump into Zeke for a while, so I'm gonna jump on your boat. Okay. Because you're probably a lot further ahead than I would. Be. I hear water. I see Boochbeard in Cool Ranch. On a shark. I hear sails. Dude. I hear yum yum fruit. I hear docky. Ah. Uh. Okay, there we go. It did the uh, put dumping of me into the middle of nowhere. We're also doing the loading thing. None of the NPCs are there. Oh, uh, nothing, nothing really is loading. I think, yeah, hard drive. That's no fun. All right, I'll have to downsize a video or two, and then I will be back with you guys in a second, so don't go away. All right, guys, we are back. We are going to go talk to the professor, but you have to go all the way around. All right, hello, professor. I don't want to pronounce your name. Ah, yes, that charming chicken fellow. He was here not long ago. Gone now, I'm afraid. Off experimenting. As I recall, he said he was off to Big Sky Country, but was stopping at the Bison Burial Ground on the way. Look for him there. Alright, Nigo to the Bison Burial Ground, which has got to be the most annoying place in the game, I gotta say. <laughs> But thankfully, the more places we go to, the more we can... The less we have to travel. Yeah, because we can use our good friend there. So, eh, that's in Cooper Drew still, so that's good for us. The Bison Barrier Ground. Let's go. We also beat up on some scorpions down there. Yeah, that was a difficult one. We're alive, though. Yeah. We got a little pretty little heads. Yeah. We also can get a new pet out here. Oh, that's our pet. Oh, yeah. But the thing is, that pet is super cute when you first get him, and then he sounds super ugly when you make him 
throw up. He's at like an adult now, I think, at my main. Alright. Don't touch oh, gosh, the buffalo. Oh, dude, now you got the moldy banana with the ugly sails. Yeah. Moldy banana and Mountain Dew. No, moldy banana and Mountain Dew voltage. Because you're all new shit and voltage is an awful trip. There's the right. burial ground. You come back to the burial ground quite often. So I could put a uh, marker here. You could put one in um, Cooper's Roost. Bison Village. Well, we don't have to go to there for a while. Oh yeah, and plus we get a tell plus we get a free uh, ride there anyway. Yeah. So we have one here. There's uh, there's a guy at Cooper's Roost, but we need somewhere to go to after everything. So one person can keep a marker at Cooper's Roost. Yeah. Oh, help! Help me! This is the companion that I was talking about a few episodes ago that I was wondering you were gonna do it. Quick! Into the cave! <laughs> Worst companion in the game coming up, guys! Everyone agrees here. Oh, wow, they don't actually say anything. Cool. Make you cry. One, all ones. Make you cry. I still have nightmares. Alright. That's four. That vent will attack you. Yeah. Don't touch it. Alright. Let's see. These guys have repel borders, so let's have them come to us. What now? Hmm? Now, let's do that. Ugh. Yes? Move, man. They're all crazy funky. Alright, let's go. Whee! A poofy! Yeah! Hey! so nice to be able to do that. I love doing it behind other people because then they turn perfectly invisible. Yes. So, because we're in a new world, naturally guys will be a little bit tougher for us as of now. So we'll probably do some hunting for stuff. Probably do a lot of side quests here soon. Yeah, I'll start doing some book hunting. Alright, so Link, I think our new strategy tactic needs to be gang up on one guy and just beat the tar out of them until they're dead. Great. Because these guys are just at that point where they're not too tough for us, but they're still tough enough that we need to start focusing. We need to start focusing on the musketeers. Uh, kind of. Kind of, yeah. Let's see. We're out. 297. So this guy's gonna die. I'm gonna kill him. Not once. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Level five. Oh, tree. We're burning through that stuff. Yeah. How'd you like that? You didn't. Cause you're dead. Yeah. Our turn, Mr. Brave Walker. We bravely walk all over you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not planned for. It still hurts you? That's crazy. That's right. Their bot, their shaman are strangely enough uh, privateers. I wish I did not. I wish I would not have used that ability. I really thought of them last damage. 
The important thing is we've got less enemies to worry about. Yeah. Alright, I shot these guys down. Yeah. Cool. That guy died. They reduced their accuracy and dodge. He's targeting Bonnie Ann. Because <laughs> Bonnie Ann can shoot. I gotta say, not having a musket here is pretty price. Yeah, mister. Oh, I'm just gonna let my musketeer die. I did not. She went from <laughs> green to dead. <laughs> I uh, had no choice. Of course. What now? On I got this guy. I go. I'm on it. Hello, Storm Singer. Yes. You know, what were these bison even doing with Nurse Queen? Like, we're not even hit now. Are you sure people would want to leave her alone and never see her again? Yeah. Only if you can make your companions uh, walk the plank into a sea of those backwards fashions. The cool thing is that because we're fighting musketeers, as soon as we get up close and personal, we will probably die. Yes. And Sabodai is like anti musketeer material. Hey, you said you could shoot me. Ah, you stink. Great. No, I can't touch this. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm surprised at how good my dodge is. Alright. Rain fighter's gonna die. Really? He's you got, got five, five hit points. That's not cool. Alright. Skyrunner will be killed. I will kill him. Yeah, he's he's done too. Yeah. Hey, it's mine. Take shit and go somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> Alright then. Hey! You little yeah. turkey! That's what you get! <laughs> He's dead. He didn't even get a glance in his nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <hell> <laughs> 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 Your knives. Beautiful. And now Link gets the worst companion in the game. Not yet. Of my grandfather. Oh yeah, we're not done yet. Defeat all who pillage this sacred place. 